Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon How To Guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide we're going to be taking a look at how to farm as much money as you would like in the Pokemon Sword and Shield game. So, the first method we're going to look at is going to be looking at how to take advantage of the date change exploit in the games. What we want to be doing is heading over to the Hammerlock Hills and I'll guide you around. You could do this anywhere in the wild area though, so it doesn't really matter where you go. All you want to do is find a raid den that is active with a beam coming out of it. Now, I'm just going to go for this big old purple one over here. But like I say, you can pick any den to do this. It doesn't really matter to farm money. I'm just doing this as a bit of an intro to give you a bit of a longer intro to the video to explain what we're going to do. And to reiterate the point that this is based on the exploit. The exploit might not be here for that much longer. They may patch this. We've always got to worry about this, that this could be patched. So it might not be viable. Hence the reason why I've included two methods of how to farm money in this guide. This is the first one. There will be another one near the end of the video. So do stay tuned for that. And one thing I would like to say as well is to welcome welcome all of the new subscribers to the channel that we've had recently and thank you so much for everyone for supporting the videos that I've been putting up on Sword and Shield. I hope you've been enjoying them and I hope you do continue to enjoy them. So those of you that aren't aware of the exploit what you want to do is once you have found a den is go into that den uh, it doesn't matter what Pokemon it is for this method of farming money. What you want to do is invite others. Now, once you've invited others, you go back to your home menu. You go down to your system settings. Go into settings, time and date. Knock the synchronized time and date off with your internet. Then change the date forward one day. Go back into your game. Quit the current raid battle you're in and then go into it once again. You will get 2000 watts for doing this. Now, what your aim is here is to just continually do this until you've got a bunch of watts. Now, I'm not going to do it for too much longer because you can already see I've been exploiting this glitch for a little while now. So I've got plenty of watts. Now, the second stage to farming money is you need to find these NPC characters that are dotted around the wild area. There are seven of them in total. You can go around and speak to all of them if you want. But the thing is, what you're looking for is the one that sells the luxury balls. Now, it might be difficult to find. And one of the things to do if you cannot find one of the NPCs that sells the luxury balls is to pick one of these single NPCs and then find a red den near where this NPC PC is and use a wishing piece if you need to activate that and then do this soft reset again go into the settings go into the day change the day back one day go into the den once again see the pokemon's change and then go and speak to this npc this will change what ball this npc sells as you can see the first time i did it here i was quite lucky and it comes up as a luxury ball now once you've found the luxury ball whether you've found the npc with it or not or whether you've had to do the soft reset buy as many luxury balls as you can with the watts that you've got once you've bought them go back to a pokemon center or anyone that buys items and then you sell these luxury balls now you're going to see here once you sell these luxury balls you're going to make an absolute ton of money you make over 1 million polka dollars by selling all of these luxury balls and I'm going to actually keep a few just to keep for later max raids myself but you can see I've got over 1 million polka dollars for this haul and this will take literally 10 minutes of your time to do it's the quickest way to farm money and something that you take advantage of now to get so much cash now the next method that we're going to look at is a method that you may or may not be aware of but one of the things that you're going to need to have access to is the mystery gift so if you go down first of all mystery gift and get yourself the mystery gift me out because that's the one pokemon that you're going to need to be able to do this next method i've already got the mystery gift so i can't actually show you but if you go onto your menu screen and then just go to mystery gift and mystery gift via wi-fi and then you'll be able to it will pull the meowth down into your system and then you will get the gigantamax meowth which is what we'll be using this for the first thing that we need to do once you've got your meowth is go to mortar stalk and then you want to be heading out east of mortar stalk outskirts and then come to this location here and you will find an amulet coin now an amulet coin if it's held by a pokemon doubles the amount of money that you receive in a battle and you want to be attaching this amulet coin to your gigantamax meow now the next thing that we need to do is head up to Winden battle stadium and this is where we'll be doing all of our battling and farming now this isn't as quick a method as the first method because it is taking advantage of that exploit 
but it is a method that's always going to be in the game this is not going to be going away so this whatever happens if the exploit is patched then this is always a good exploit to fall back on now what you want to be doing is leveling up your Meowth. Now if you've done a lot of max raid battles then you can use these XL candies or just any candies to level it up. Make sure it is level 100. You're going to need it to be level 100 when you're going into these matches. And the other thing that I like to do when I'm going into these matches is put some baby Pokemon into your party. While you're farming money doing it this way you will be getting XP at the same time. So it makes sense to kind of double up what you're doing. Put some Pokemon in that you maybe need to level up into your party so they can gain levels you'll gain about 30 levels per one tournament that you enter into now you talk to the guy at the desk in the stadium and he'll take you into your first match now there are three matches in total that you will need to complete you want to lead out with your Gigantamax Meowth and all you need to do to get the maximum money from each battle is use the G-Max Gold Rush three times per battle and that will be enough to get the maximum amount of money from each trainer that you fight. So there'll be three trainers. This is the first one here. I'm gonna cut down the battle scenes and you can see the experience points already. These baby Pokemon that we've recently hatched are getting. So doubling up here, we're gonna use the gold rush again on every single Pokemon here in our first match. And that is gonna maximize our money from this first trainer and as you will see in a second when we do finish this match we get the all the experience points there everything levels up and then we f defeat the first trainer and here we go we're gonna see what we get and 16,000 from the trainer and we picked up 99,000 poker dollars so that is what we get from the gold rush that is amazing so that is what you can potentially get from each battle from using gold rush three times so we'll go into the second game i'm just going to do some game footage here because see again as we finish our second battle that we get that 16,000 again and 99,000 and then we go into the finals against leon and have a rematch against the ex champ here and uh, this is a little bit trickier because leon has two ghost types in his team normally he has the Aegislash slash and he has the dragapult which max gold rush doesn't hit so you need to time your gigantamax right so you are able to hit the opposing pokemon rather than not using it now unfortunately in this match we weren't able to get three gold rush attacks off we were only able to get two and even though we do get two we're still getting over a hundred thousand polka dollars for this match as you'll see in a minute we are finishing off the charas are there after it has gigantamax itself and um we get all of those xp so you can see there daramuka going on up to level 36 droopy going up to 33 so around roughly 30 just over 30 levels per per session from a baby pokemon on level one so it's really useful and like i say it's just a way to kind of double up the time here when you're spending trying to farm for money here and we see we have defeated leon once again there's 33,000 from leon and we get 62,000, which normally if we'd use three gold rush in this battle it would be that 99,000. so it can be done you've just got to time it right with your gold rushes in that match but unfortunately we weren't able to get all three off there personally what i think the best two methods for farming money in the pokemon sword and shield titles now before ending the video today i just want to give a huge thank you and a shout out to each and every one of you for watching these videos if you have enjoyed it please remember to drop a like on the video it does let me know that you are enjoying this content also subscribe to the channel make sure you do and hit that bell notification for any future pokemon content Content that I have coming out on the channel which will be very regular now we are into the start of sword and shield and just a reminder about this guide as well to let you know the method one in this guide isn't something that will be available forever you know I did mention it earlier in this guide it may be something that is patched later on in these games and taken away from us so we don't have access to this method anymore and just to make you aware that this is why I've done two methods in this guide there is one that is very quick the first method that uses that exploit and there is one that is a little bit slow but a very consistent one and still something that you can use to gain a lot of money if you need it in the pokemon sword and shield games you will need to buy battle points you'll need to buy battle items trs and all sorts of other items to continue playing in the post game of these games and this is something to just help you along and i hope something that you found very helpful so we'll end it there my friends have a great one thanks so much for tuning in once again and until the next one i'll see you then so until then bye bye